All right. Hey, yo. We're back. So we've saved Nick Valentine. We're going to try to see if he can help us find out what's going on with Sean. We have to escape this vault that he was locked up in first. Full of assholes. Full of assholes. The last episode was very uh, trigger happy. Oh, it's locked. Not anymore. God. I don't think it was actually even locked. I can pick master locks. Yes, you can. I sure can try, at least. Well, you've got plenty of picks. I got a lot of them. The, the master lock picking perk made it so they don't break. I'm tempted. You've got... You're, you're like a basic bitch on Facebook. you got more picks than you need. I like this place. Tuxedo. Tuxedo mask. What, they just can't have nice shit? I like this place, man. There's just so much shit in here. I wish you could take the linens. They write themselves. What? The jokes about you. What? I said I wish you could take the linens. That would be nice, because you have a bathroom this in... where I came from. In, in your house in Sanctuary, you have, like, the, the, the bathroom and stuff with the curtain rod, and, or not the curtain rod, the towel rod. And you could, like, have some nice towels. Oh, this is the one there. I molotoved, I think. And it would be good for you to take the linens, because then when you, you know, romance Curie, like you're gonna do, uh, she'd have nice towels to, you know, dry off. I'm, wow. I'm trying not to talk too graphically about Curie taking a shower, because I don't want you to get your jammies in a bunch. That's not what I, that's not where my mind went, but okay. I'm just trying to rationalize the fact that I want to be able to take the linens, okay? There's a whole box of them underneath you. That you knocked over. Move the box. I think it's four. I think four is the number that there are. Save all quick. Okay, that's the present one. Linehan family. Sean, wife Martha, sons John and Mitchell. Flaherty family. Michael, wife Joan. Flaherty? Uh, Presley family. Jenna, husband Richard. President needs CA2. O'Malley family. Michael, wife Jennifer, son Robert. Wait, Michael O'Malley? Yeah. The, the the former host of Nickelodeon Guts yes. and, and former supporting actor in that show. Sure. Baker family, Ralph, Beyonce, Sarah, Dog, Spike, Do Not Allow. Yancey family, Murray, wife Amy, sons Jimmy and Ronnie. What was, the, what was that show? I don't know. Madison family, It wasn't Bill, my wife and kids. Wife Bill and his wife Belinda. Daughters Jean, Mary, and Melissa. Was it my wife and kids? Sean, wife Molly, son God Paul, daughter so Stephanie. Incident. I can have read. to fucking look it up because that was a good show. O'Brien family, like like the potatoes. Kevin, wife Megan, sons Ryan, Brandon, Logan, daughters Molly, Anna, Kayla, Brenna, infant Todd Gates. Bachelor. Yes, dear. Got a wife and kid in love with you. Because they did the music video for the, that one Alan Jackson song. Yeah, the two of them were in that, um, it was, um, um, uh, Talking Song, Repair, Talk Blues. Song Repair Blues, and the two of them were in the video. Yeah, it was, it was, it was Yes Dear. Was he the fat one? Yeah, he was the one who always wore the hat. He was the fat one? Yeah. He was the one that looked like the guy from King of Queens, but he wasn't the guy from King of Queens. Yes. Michael Malley. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, and the speech check you failed. Um, Nick was sent to track this girl down because her family was worried be because she went missing. Oh. Uh, uh, 
This is like a fucking 50s mob movie. Get him alone. Ma'am, I am a married man. Convince her to leave. Way to kill her. Let's hope it works. Lady killer! Sure you liked it. I think Nick liked it, maybe. No. Lady killer. Yep. Cri five. But now Skinny might be pissed at you. Oh, it's terrifying. Looks scary. So you can basically just run out now. Just go. Left or right. Just run out of the vault. Not that way. Across the bridge. I kind of wanted to shoot him. Curie won't like it. Uh, Curie does not like uh, unprovoked violence. Just go up those stairs. It'll take you right up and out. I'm just following him. Or that door, too. Yeah, it, it, with with you passing that speech check, you didn't want to do the fight because Curie would have hated it. Curie hates... Um, Did you have to do the fight? No, I had a different speech check. Did you do Encourage Violence? No, I had a different speech check. I had one that wasn't available to you. Huh. I, I had done something. I don't remember what it was, but I had done some thing somewhere. I'm trying to remember which quest it was a part of. But I had talked to somebody who knew Skinny Malone and, like, told me a story about him or whatever. So I had a speech check that, like, made him sit there and go, oh, you know me too well or something like that. You can get out of here. You got till the count of ten. Oh, uh, well, I made Darla fucking... Yeah, you actually... I like your outcome better because in my outcome, Darla stayed. I'm... I feel Tim bad Hong's. for Darla in my fight. I am Tim Hong's lady killer. Fucking, um... Yeah, Nick Valentine is awesome. I love Nick Valentine. I'm actually, like, half-tempted to bring him along to just go around with him for a while, but I love Curie. Maybe after I make Curie into a synth, I'll take Nick Valentine around for a while. I liked him. What's really funny is the timing on that works perfectly. That... That timing will work perfectly, actually. Um, keep Curie with you for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Curie until, you know... Be complete emergent behavior. After that, I'm probably gonna take Nick Valentine around for a long time. I see us having a beautiful relationship. Nick Nick Valentine is I almost called him Nick Fury. Because he's my he's a hardcore motherfucker. Nick Valentine's pretty I mean, awesome. I could take Preston around, but you know, fuck Preston. Nick Valentine's pretty cool. You thought Judas was bad? The Bible didn't have shit on Preston. <laughs> he abandoned me in my time of need. You're going to offend our, our vast Christian audience. And I need Codsworth and Sanctuary to maintain order. If Codsworth isn't there, Marcy's liable to run rampant. Yeah. He keeps Marcy in check. I could take Piper, but you know. Oh my god, I just cracked the fuck out of my neck. I could take Piper, you know, but I don't care about Piper even a little bit. She well, has not earned it. You eventually want to get... Eventually. Okay. 
You can do that anytime. It's just basically the one that um you have your interview in. Yeah, I want to read it. I want to read it. I want to read what it, I want to hear how she bastardized my words. View from the Vault, part one, part two. And part three. And part three. It wasn't that long of an interview. What the fuck did she write? She, well, she has a bunch of other stuff to talk about, too. View from the Vault, part one. View from the Vault, part one, by Piper Wright. Whenever I take a walk through Diamond City, there are so many things to tell me to be grateful for. Purified water, working lights, electricity, screw. I have all that in Sanctuary! True, but what we have would but what we have would have been unthinkable even a few decades ago but it's easy to forget that even her penmanship even after all the progress we have made we are starting we are still living in the shadows of the world that was a world before the threat of radiation there's always been radiation piper before the super mutant the feral ghoul and the synth so as fortune has often has it i cross paths with tim honks vault dwelling <laughs> A person who is I cross paths with Tim Honks, who is experiencing the Commonwealth for the first time. What would his fresh set of eyes say about how far we've come? Is Diamond City the great green jewel we have always claimed it to be? Before we begin to answer that question, you have to know who Tim Honks is, <laughs> where he comes from. To my surprise, he did not have much to say about his life involved at all, because he spent all that time staring at a piece of frozen glass. Every that's not what I looked at for several days. For over two centuries, that's right. Tim Honks isn't just Vault Dweller. He's an original Vault Dweller. He spent his entire life on the inside, cryogenically suspended. Continue in part two. He's an original. He's an OG Vault Dweller. I'm an OVD. Wait. OVD! Wait, no, you yeah. Down with original OVD? venereal disease? Yeah, you. You down with OVD? Original venereal disease? Yeah, you know me. From part one. So what does Tim Hawks have to say about seeing Diamond City for the first time? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. I was trying to do my best Tim Hawks impression. When was the last time someone in our city talked about hope who wasn't some politician fishing for points in the next election, making empty promises at the wall? But our outsider has let the cynicism of our strange world get the better of him. Hasn't let the cynicism get him. This is all the more remarkable because for, of the reason he came to the Commonwealth. You see, Tim Honks has a son, Sean Honks. <laughs> and even though... Baby Honks! <laughs> they were in the relative safety of the vault. Someone broke in and took Sean Honks from his parents and killed his mom. <coughs> and that parent is now risking everything. <laughs> Wandering through this strange... I'm turning into a ghoul. Strange... Okay, smooth skin. And... Unfriendly, unfriendly world, of world, of world of ours. In order to save Sean from his kidnappers. We all know the rumors and whispers that surround every missing person in Diamond City. The guilty looks we pass the mourning family members. As we thank the wall that this time it wasn't us. We can end up dead in the Commonwealth for a million reasons. Why spend our time worrying about kidnappings? Why indeed? Continue in part three. Continued from part two. It's easy for us to be cynical about the missing. You have spent so long knowing the Institute is out there, but knowing so little about them. They are not the only ones responsible for kidnappings, but the fact that they sometimes are, and the fact that we have been so powerless to stop them when they do, causes us to treat all victims of kidnapping as though they are a lost cause. The people left behind, those loved ones, friends, and neighbors, who may never see the faces of those taken from them again, they do not have the luxury of being able to just look away. They have to carry that loss with them, even if everyone else tells them they move on and forget. I asked Tim Honks to make a statement to Diamond City. To give us an outsider's perspective on what it means to lose a loved one and how he feels. Maybe in some way, it's how we all should feel. Maybe we've forgotten what the right human re response to these tragedies are. No matter how much you want to give <coughs> No matter how much you want to give up, don't. He said. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. End. I think that's going to go in the safe. I think it should. Hello? What up, Nat? Nat? Nat King Cole? What up, Nat 20? Wow. Uh, sure, dog.
You're gonna like the way you look. Yeah, I'm gonna have to excuse my 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 Slade Wilson helmet. You have nine to five. You can completely change your entire like face now. Like you know. Rebel without a honks. Shaggy Swall. Shaggy. Life is one be popular when you're still Yeah, because it but wouldn't be 9 to 5 anymore. Back when it's old, he doesn't have any gel anymore to slick it like that. Oh, yeah. So it would have to, I think, like, Shaggy Swall. Like, it would have dropped. But who's gonna have it back when it's all done? Bedraggled. It's all good when you're little, you have your fun. Don't be a uh, fool, son. What about the long run? Casual Kemp's. But he would be... It like, would be longer now, yeah. I like casual Kemp. Yeah, because it would be longer. Hair? I think so. That's Kino's hair. Waster? Casual Kemp. I like Waster. Because it would be longer at this point. Kemp friendly. I like Waster. Now what about the facial hair? I have to. Should we give him a more grizzled beard? He has Lone Wanderer. Outdoorsman? Oh my? Wait, what's oh my? Oh my. Now he's not that rakish yet. Yeah, now he's just like grizzled. He's grizzled. He's been out in the he's in the waste for a while, yeah. And it's hidden under the mask. Yeah, so it doesn't really fucking matter anyway. We could have made him bald with a Fu Manchu and it wouldn't matter. It would to me. I mean, eventually he's not going to have the helmet on anymore. Actually, bald with a Fu Manchu, he would look like uh, Captain Shang from... Was it Shang? No, it wasn't Shang. Um, fucking Chow Yun Fat's character in the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Talk to him! Sounds like Rick. Give Sheffield a new cola. I don't have one. Sheffield, take a drink. A new cola. I don't have any. You gotta find one. Buy one. Oh yes. Swatter. Got any work? Well, if you wanna, you know, help the sport, I got an idea. An extension pre-war. It won't be by me. Ooh. Sure. A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I think. And baseball. All talk, baseball? talk to him and ask him about swatters. Hey. It's a funny conversation. Swatters will win you the game. The game of beating people up, that is. This is a funny conversation. <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a diamond city tradition. See, <clears throat> it used to be that this whole place was staged. And two teams would meet. I understand this. Wait, I played baseball. baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats, and and the best bats were called swatters, fruit bats. Am I gonna do weigh your options? options? Sound team. They say that's not baseball. That's not. Look, dumbass. That's not <laughs> baseball. <laughs> yeah, you just out of town. Yeah, you're such an expert. How do you think it was played? <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Actual rules. Ball strike three bases and home run. I kept score by how many runners made it to home plate. I found a soft stroke. This is fairly straightforward. I like my version. I like Curie helping. Now. I like my version better. I just love. Look, dumbass. That's not baseball. Hickory swing. <laughs> Do you have nuka? Baseball hickory. Right here. Do you have nuka? Barbed mahogany swatter. You could probably get a Nuka-Cola from Myrna. Barbed Oak Swatter. 
bladed mahogany swatter. It's a fucking baseball bat. Bladed oak swatter. Chain wrapped blue swatter. It's just a baseball bat. Rockville slugger. Sharp aluminum swatter. Sharp cedar swatter. I like the way you're saying these. Batting helmet. Baseball, you baseball cap. I have to. Especially if I can put ballistic weave on it. You can, and on the baseball uniform as well. I'm putting it on the baseball cap. Did you pass aid? He ain't got aid, dude. Dog. Wait. No. I want to confirm the trade. Go. Mirna will have Nuka Cola. Dog. I'm. I'm working on it, Sheffield. Sheffield's Jones in man. I know, Myrna. I, I buy from you all the time, lady. Uh, aid. L M. N. Ah! He hasn't earned a quantum. I'll give him a quantum. Fuck Wait, me. take a quantum? I think he'll take any Nuka Cola that you give him. I think I have a quantum on me, but he didn't take it. You are. Oh. You know the. I have a quantum. You do, and he didn't take it. So you just need plain Nuka Cola. Uh, well, now I know. I wonder you. if Arturo has Nuka Cola. You're the new guy, right? What? Yes. Yeah, I'm the new guy. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. Is that, wow. Person? Arturo Rodriguez. How do you have that accent still? I've got a few minutes to browse. Feel free to test the grid. I'm a married man, sir. But, oh my. Yep. Anything else that's cool? Everything he has is cool. Old Faithful. Deals double damage if the target is at full health. That'd be cool to convert to a sniper rifle. For stealthy stealth. Yeah. It would be useful. So let's see. Go to aid. Does he have Nuka Cola? Hold on, he's got like an arm guard. His gumdrops. Ha! Ah! He has a power armor frame. He doesn't yeah. have he doesn't have fucking Ah, oh, he doesn't have any Nuka Cola. Okay, we'll come back and give Sheffield Nuka Cola later. We'll find Nuka Cola. We always find Nuka Cola. I have some at home. Yeah, so we'll just come back and give some to Sheffield later. I like Sheffield. He's good people. Let's see. God, that guy. He just kind of told you to go fuck yourself. We know! Do I? Oh, I'll end up. I'll end up cutting the audio from the microphone out on that one. Welcome. Happy to do it. To pay me. Still diving in this daily pre war ruin. I love that you had an option. Pay me. Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. Oh, baby. If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the door. And she gave me. Oh, my God. One case at a time. A new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to this. I checked the cases. I can look at his cases. I should do that off camera or on camera. I'm gonna do that on camera. Yeah, why not? Okay. Describe the. Describe the kidnappers. That would be the most helpful. Probably. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me. Backer. So we're talking a small team. Sean. I'm looking for my son, Sean. He left me a little early. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an insult? He could have taken down all of his pairs. Could have drank a lot of them. Well, he deserved it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. 
had an agenda. The plot's getting thick. It's incredible thick. Uh, I know what all these are. Institute. I know. And you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, where they are. Not even me. I'm a simp myself. Oh. Got a prototype. Oh. Now you can ask him. You're a prototype? You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other simp like myself. There's the older one. I'm taking him with me when I'm done with Curious Quest Line. Um, that'll actually work out perfectly. That works out perfectly, I will tell you that right now. You won't have... It'll be an effortless thing for you to do. Uh, bald and scarred. Ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna kill him. You said he lives here? He's still in town? The boat vanished a while back. Right. That house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Do you know when we're gonna try to snoop out where he went? Uh I'd say probably next time. Hell yeah. We're going to do some snooping next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay nerdy.